Hello, welcome to the Bible Takeaway, where you can expect to snack on the who, what and when of a particular Bible filling. This is a Bible summary of Amos. Amos comes after Hosea and Joel, and was also written during the time of the Divided Kingdom. What to expect in Amos? It's a book of prophecy, telling of the Lord's judgment against Israel. The key people in Amos. Well, it's just Amos. For a key passage, try Amos 5 verses 21 to 24. I hate, I despise your religious festivals. Your assemblies are a stench to me. Even though you bring me burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. Though you bring choice fellowship offerings, I will have no regard for them. Away with the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps, but let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never-failing stream. In summary, chapter 1, the Lord says, I will punish Damascus. The remnant of the Philistines shall perish. I will send fire upon Tyre, Edom and Ammon. Chapter 3, does a lion roar when it has no prey? The Lord reveals his plans to his prophets. On the day I punish Israel, I will punish Bethel. Chapter 5 Fallen is virgin Israel. Seek me and live. You shall not dwell in your houses. I despise your feasts. Let justice roll like waters. Chapter 9 The Lord said, Strike the pillars until the earth shakes. I will shake the house of Israel. In that day I will restore my people. So what's the takeaway from Amos? We can't rely on our religiousness. God is not impressed. He cares about the state of our hearts and about how we treat the poor. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.